in these problems, we are determining the probability of an event um, that has to do with either rolling dice or picking um, balls from a bag, something like that. And when we express the probability of an event, how likely something is to happen, we usually express that as a fraction. And that fraction is the number of the outcomes that result in the event you're looking for over the number of possible things that could have happened, the number of possible outcomes. So that might seem confusing at first if this is the first time you've seen it, but let's see how it works in the context of this problem. This one says a bag contains 12 balls labeled 1 through 12, and one ball will be randomly picked. What's the probability of picking a multiple of three? I'm just going to just draw a quick picture. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So here's my bag. And it's got all of these balls labeled one through twelve. And we'll shake these around, mix them up, and pick something at random. That's that's what's going on here. So there's my my bag. What we want is the probability of picking a multiple of three. So which ones are multiples of three? Well, three is, and six is, and nine is, and 12 is. So what we have here is we have four number of outcomes. So uh, each one of these balls is an outcome. It's, it's a possible that you could pick it. We have four possibilities of picking the one we want, a multiple of three. The total number of possibilities is the total, total number of balls, because I could pick any one of those balls. So the total number of possibilities or possible outcomes is 12. So the probability of picking a multiple three is 4 over 12. However, we can simplify this fraction. Both of these can be divided by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So it's a 1 in 3 chance, or a one probability of 1 third, of picking a multiple of 3. Let's try another one. This one uses dice. It says a 10-sided die with sides labeled 1 through 10 will be rolled once. Each number is equally likely to be rolled. So this is a fair 10-sided die. What's the probability of rolling a number greater than 1? Well, let's think about this. The possible outcomes, we could get a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8, a 9, or a 10. All the numbers greater than 1 are these. So there are actually nine numbers that I could get that would be greater than one. So that's the success. That's the, the event that we want. The total number of outcomes is 10 different possible numbers. So this is 9 over 10. And that is as simple as it needs to be. We can't really simplify that fraction anymore. So that's how we can express that probability. So that is a little bit of work with probability using dice or picking balls out of bags.